The phone lines are open and Judge Muriel Robinson is here now to answer your legal questions. We always appreciate your great advice. Thanks so much for being here. Glad to be here. We've got a lot of folks who've called. Why don't we jump right in and here's our first caller. Hi, Angela. What's your question today? Uh, yes, uh, last year my mother passed away and a year prior to her passing away, all of my siblings were estranged from her and they made me legal, or my mother made me legal power of attorney and medical power of attorney. And I had to make the difficult choice to uh, assist in black support. Now my siblings are trying to sue. Uh, one of my brothers got permission from a court to be the head over her estate. And now they're trying to sue the facility for medical malpractice. And they're wanting to disinherit me from any proceeds they get, yet I'm the same for my mother's funeral. Do I have any legal protection? Well, yes, you, one, the year heir, just like they are, and uh, uh, you would, if she didn't leave a last will and testament that cut you out, then you'd share with them. Uh, so far, if you had a power of attorney, you had a legal right to determine her medical and whatever. That's, the, that's what those things are for. Now, after she's deceased, that, see, that, that will cease, and then the representative of her, of her estate will take over. But I think you're just fine. And so I wouldn't uh, uh, worry about that. You're, you're not going to be disinherited over this for sure. They haven't sued you yet, I don't think. They're just suing somebody that they think has the money. But that, that's a judicial determination. And that's a difficult yeah. situation. Angela, I hope that helps. Thanks for your call. Our next caller is Jacqueline. What's your question today? Yes, thank you for taking my question. Uh, I have a, a son who is divorced from his wife and she's remarried they have two children together he pays his child support every month and she decides when he's supposed to see the kids and when not um, it's two and three months apart sometimes and they're not able to spend the night with him or anything so i'd like to know what his rights are um, on that well, it sounds like in his final decree, he didn't get specific visitation, and usually it's uh, every other weekend, um, uh, extended time in the summer and whatever. So if that was not act actually set, he needs to file a motion to uh, have the court redo that parenting plan and then get his uh, required visitation, which would be probably every other week and some time in the summer and alternate the holidays. And uh, those matters are never final with the final decree. So he needs to get a lawyer, file a motion to be allowed to have a new parenting plan and ask for the visitation that he thinks is appropriate for him. Okay, Jacqueline, hope that helps you. Uh, here's our next call and it is Deborah. Hi, what's your question today? Uh, yes, ma'am. I have a niece that's in uh, foster care, and <clears throat> I haven't seen her in the last couple of months. And I've been calling DCS and uh, the social worker, the social worker supervisor, and they won't call me back as to why I don't get to talk to her or see her anymore. And I'm kind of getting frustrated because I'm not a bad person, and I should have rights to see her, talk to her, and visit with her, but well, nobody will let me know anything as to why I don't get to see her. Well, okay. the, the reason they're not letting you know anything is because you're not a parent uh, or a grandmother to this child. You're kind of a distant relative, so you would, you would have to go to the court and prove that you uh, were a person that was involved in the child's life, and it would be to the child's best interest to have a relationship with you. So I would check with a good domestic relations lawyer to see if there's a way you can ask the court to grant you some visitation. But you are not a close relative, unfortunately. Hate to tell you that, but uh, it's not close enough for that department to give you any information, really. Okay, well, mm -hmm. boy, that is a difficult situation, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being with us. We right appreciate it. If you didn't get through on the phone lines today, Judge Robinson is back next month. We've got a last check of your weather coming up next.